It was the first time we all went out together in a group with my friends. And it was a really big club. The garage? Yeah, well, and everyone was taking something. All of my friends were out of their faces. But I was sober. And I didn't snog anyone. I just danced. And, well, every time we all went out together, it, it seemed to go like that. Like, they were all getting wiped out and I didn't. I never drank or took anything. I always just danced. But... Some of my friends started on at me. Like, why was I cool and in control always? Why they were getting wrecked? Why was I always such a good girl? Was I mean or was I scared? I said, I like clubbing. I'm having a great time, so just leave me alone. And it was always me who was there to scrape the puke from out their hair or to protect them from the blows or to tell them where they lived. And I got them home too, by cab. They wouldn't remember that the next morning or believe that it had cost a tenner. They thought I wanted to be in control of them. They said I was too scared to let go. And I said, I can let go completely when I'm dancing. They said I never joined in. That's rubbish. And I told them so. But they wouldn't leave off. And they started to wind me up. They said I was a goody two-shoes. Well, and then they called me a stucker. That wasn't enough. I'm not a stucker. So next time we all went out together, I had to pint and a smog in front of them all. They all gasped and cheered and I went to the toilet and I threw up. But when I come back, they're all there watching to see what I would do. So I bought around and I had another pint. <laughs> My rating went right up. They hugged me, congratulated me. And every time we all went out together after that, if they got pissed, I got pissed with them. And suddenly it was me who couldn't remember what I'd said or what I'd done. Or even who I'd done it with. <laughs> well, thing is, it seemed a bigger risk being sober than being drunk. And once I started drinking, I stopped dancing.